Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? Guess. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Because the inauguration's on Wednesday. That's right. So Eric, uh, the Good News Guardian, who you have not met yet, is uh, outside or is going to be outside. He's here. He's coming here on a scooter. So we're going to introduce you to him. But first, let's go meet Bryce. Who I think he's on a work call right now. Bryce fucking hates me. Especially hates me when I interrupt his work call. So watch this. Fuck off. See what I tell you, man. What I tell you. <laughs> what time is it? Because Eric's supposed to be. Uh... Oh shit! Let's go outside, dude. We're late for Eric. Sponsored by Bang. I wish Bang. If you're watching this, dude, holla at me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is this him? Eric, the good news guardian. Hey, crank it up. What's up, brother? How are you, dude? You look good. I can't believe you dressed like this. You ain't cold. No, I was wearing a jacket before. I guess that badass chain you got on your neck is keeping you. You all won't like it? I'm not, I'm not even kidding. You all won't like this? It's Vitaly. I'll get you a Vitaly chain. Let me tell everybody out there something. This man is fucking amazing. Excuse me. Maybe I wasn't allowed to say that. This man is amazing. Kevin Kenny is amazing. What's amazing about him? What's amazing is he keeps going forward. He, he cares about the audience. He always has content for the audience, but he keeps it real and he keeps focused. I don't know how this man says everything he says, and yet he doesn't have a paper in front of him to read off of. And I'm just saying, I'm not a kiss ass, although I love to kiss ass. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him about what you used to do in LA, dude. You used to be an actor. Well, I wanted to be an actor. I wanted to be an actor, but I knew at one point I wasn't going to be an actor because I met everybody famous. I was in all the famous mansions. Johnny Carson used to drive by me in Malibu every single morning like clockwork, and he thought it was funny as hell that I was sitting with a huge sign on PCH that said House Painter. I was there for 30 days, and nobody stopped, and finally when I gave up, a guy walked over and said, aren't you the painter? And I ended up working at the Hollywood Bowl and painting all the concession stands there. I had Barbara Streisand's home phone number. Tell him the Paul Newman story. Well, you dated, what, but would you say you dated Paul Newman? Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. <laughs> Just for a, a quickie. There I was, I stole a motorcycle, and I was at Zuma Beach, and I parked the bike by the, by the bathroom on the beach there, and I saw there was a guy parked behind my motorcycle, and I couldn't tell if it was an undercover cop. He was with a lounge chair in the beach about 50 feet from the water, had a cooler, had his uh, Ray-Ban glasses on or whatever they were. And next thing I know, he's like, pull up a chair, son. Matter of fact, grab yourself a beer. And I'm like, holy shit, this is Paul Newman. Next thing he's saying to me, hey, what do you say we just get a hotel and, uh, you know, uh, kick it at the hotel and drink? There was a hotel right around the corner and we pulled into it. He goes into the hotel, he gets the room. We go into the room. I lay down, he lay down next to me. There was only one bed in there. Next thing I know, I felt something touch my uh, privates and we ended up making love. I want to show you this guy, Huey. Have I talked to you about Huey? No. I think Huey is very daring, very committed, very crazy, and uh, it takes guys like him to get somewhere. All right, we gotta go up and do the show. Bryce is getting ready for a date. It's actually, it's an exciting date too. She looks like a wonderful woman. Why, why? This looks like, honestly, it's too baseball for me. It kind of looks like uh, the Yankees are away tonight. I think you look better than the other ones though. The black ones? Yeah, like the black ones kind of accentuate the blue note on your shirt. The blue note? Yeah, because also the black ones are going to accentuate the shoes. Do you there. see how colors work? Like, you're not supposed to wear blue and black together. That with your post office uh, uh, yeah, sweater you... would be tight. So I... save it. Save it. If you're going on dates, you got to ration Wait, well, off the fit. But the fits. thing is, the other pants have like a, like a hole this big in the crotch. So it's sexy. Save those for the second date. This is going to go well. I have great I have great feelings about it. So then rock the... um. That, if you know you have that fit, rock those with the other fit. Yeah, I think you're right. I do like this though. You look like, what song do you think you look like? Wait, if I, oh, what song like do I Like your outfit today, like your aura today, you know what you look like? I don't know, you tell me. Me and Simpsons down by the schoolyard. <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? Me and Cecilia down by the schoolyard. Are you changing? Tight shot. This is Mike Kaplan, good friend of mine. Look at how this guy treats your office when you're not here. Head honcho. Head honcho. Format captain. Well, where are you gonna go in We're this day? An Italian restaurant. You can't go inside. You're gonna go no, outside? outside? That sucks. No, it's like a heated booth. Eric, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Guess you went on a date last night. Who? Bryce. Bryce went on a date? Bryce went on this date. How do you think it went? I'm gonna call him. I would have to say it went excellent. Ian, what, how do you think it went? I think I'm, well, he's charming. Wow, Ian called Bryce charming. He didn't come in today, that's why. He didn't come into work, so I feel like it had to he had a hangover. Oh, you think he had a hangover? I thought it was because it, was, it went well. Yeah, that's what I mean. It went well, he drank heavy. That's why it went well. He got lucky. I don't know, sometimes you can drink too much. You don't have to drink to get lucky. He's not picking up now. It's only 11 o'clock. This could be about work, honestly. This could be about work. Might be, might be on the second date. Hey, this is Bryce. Leave a message and I will call you back. Hey, I want to know about the date there, Bryce. Did you get lucky or what? All right, we got to wait for him to be at work tomorrow. What do you think that means? He didn't pick up. I haven't heard from him today. I think it means second date. You think tonight was the second date? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're saying the next time we see him, he's going to have two dates to report on. It is only 11 o'clock. That's what I'm saying. All right. Good for Bryce. Honestly, we're at work. We're doing our jobs. Good for Bryce. You want to see if we can uh, scare Brady? I was going to try to scare you, Brady. Do you scare easily? Not even a little bit. Um, oh, okay. Say hello to Brady. I like, hi. What's, uh, what's this for? This is on the internet. Shoot your shot. This can be like a dating profile. Well, I... Uh, Are you single, Brady? Very single. Are you? Very single. You Although find it hard to date as a radio personality? Yeah, because, well, I've been considered swipe left material. Who told you that? Uh, uh, people. Really? What's like the meanest thing anyone's ever said to you on an app? Uh, oh, I don't. I've never used apps. You've never used apps? No, never so used apps. So how are you meeting people? Uh, bars. Oh, not it's since in COVID. COVID, bro. Have you yeah. met someone in the last no, I haven't year? Met, uh, Have you not dated in the last year? No. No point. What's going on, man? Dude, a uh, lot of a uh, <laughs> lot of time, you know. In chat rooms? In chat rooms. <laughs> sure, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Um, have you heard this uh, Huddy song? This what? This little Huddy song? No. Well, if you're on an app, do you know about TikTok? Uh, yeah, I know he's, TikTok. He's like a big TikTok star. He's also in that MGK movie. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm late for work. That's why it's like, oh my god, we're playing this like right now. All right, hold on. Huey Crowley. Look him up on IG right now. At Huey Crowley. I'm about to introduce you, America, to America's next legend, Huey Crowley. <laughs> A voracious man. Reggie. Huey. Up, I'm here for you. Huey, I want you to teach these people about real music. Put a song in the radio right now. What do you want to play? You got to play that Creed. You know what Creed I'm talking about. Play I know what Creed, Creed I'm baby. talking Creed about. Money. Huey Crowley. At Huey Crowley went viral on TikTok with this one. You know it, you love it. Wait till you hear him perform it on the show next week. Creed.